Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about E-plane T-junction. This is the second type of T-junctions in the microwave T-junctions. First we have seen H-plane T-junction. See this is the construction of E-plane T-junction which is also having three ports. This is the port 1 and this is port 2. And this is port 3. Port 1 and port 2 are opposite to each other and they belong to same waveguide. They belong to the same waveguide or singular waveguide. Okay. Actually, junction is nothing but a combination of two or more waveguides. Here, how many waveguides are there? Two waveguides are there. One waveguide, this is the first waveguide and this is the second waveguide. Okay, first waveguide is having two ports, one and two, and the second waveguide is having port three, which is connected here, broader side of this waveguide, broader, broader side of this main waveguide. Okay, this particular port three is known as E arm. E arm. E arm. Okay, because that is connected in the direction of the electric field. Electric field always is in the direction of upward direction or in the downward direction. So, as the port is connected in that direction, that is named it as E arm. E arm. That is nothing but port 3. Okay. In which direction the main waveguide has been cut? It is having a cut along the broader side. Along the broader side. Okay. Or we can say it is the breadth. Broader side is nothing but breadth. Narrower side is nothing but width. Okay. Along the breadth or broader side it has been cut and the third waveguide has been, the second waveguide has been installed. Okay. This forms the junction. Now it is the junction. Okay. It is the E arm. See this is the waveguide component. This is the actual waveguide component. You can observe this type of waveguide component in the laboratory. See, you should observe, you should Observe the waveguide. By seeing the waveguide, you should name whether it is a H-plane T-junction or E-plane T-junction. By seeing that component itself, you need to identify. See, if cut is here and the waveguide is extended like this, waveguide is extended like this, then that becomes H-plane T-junction. If waveguide is Cut, having a cut in this broader side and extended like this and having this port, it is known as E-plane T-junction. Okay, so E-plane T-junction is having in the cut along the broader side and H-plane T-junction is having a cut along the narrow dimension. Okay, so this is the e -arm. Uh, I will write a few lines here. It is so called, it is called as E plane T junction E plane T junction because the junction arm because the junction arm that is the top of the T extends the top of the T extends from the main waveguide from the main waveguide in the same direction of the electric field in the same direction as the electric field key field okay in which direction the port is connected whether it is in the electrical field uh, em field that means electric field or magnetic field based on that the names are given okay and again here also port 1 and port 2 
or opposite to each other. Port 1 and port 2 are opposite to each other and we can call them as collinear ports but the power uh, associated with port 1 is having out of phase with the power associated with port 2. Okay, the electric field lines will be having a out of phase when it is going or crosses this junction. I will explain how and why. Okay, it is characterized, it is characterized by the fact that the outputs of this form of waveguide junction are 180 degrees out of phase with each other. This is what I said earlier. Okay. Both Port 1 and port 2 are opposite phases. Port 1, if you see from port 1, you can see port 2. Okay. Both port 1 and port 2 are opposite phases, even though, even though they will be having powers out of phase with each other. Okay. This is the reason why the junction is, this is the reason how the junction is constructed. And this is the fact that exists only in the E arm, but it is not with the H arm. Okay, now coming to this construction of this uh, E plane D junction, construction and you can say it is working. See here, the electric field lines, this is the port 1, this is port 2 and this is port 3. The electric field lines now at this port 1 are in the downward direction. Electric field lines are always perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So, either it may be in the upward direction or it may be in the downward direction of this waveguide. So, in this case, if I have taken the waveguide, wave, uh, the electric field lines are in the downward direction. So, as it is going in the downward direction, when it approaches the junction, this is the junction. When it approaches the junction, see the wave has been shaped into this and it slowly turns like this and the same signal will be going into the port 3 like this and when it crosses when it crosses the junction the signal will be going out of phase in this way so it's, it slowly it uh, slowly turns at this particular junction that means it converts out of phase 180 degrees out of phase with the input port okay so uh, we can see it can be seen from the electric field it can be seen from the electric field that when it approaches when it approaches the T junction, when the signal approaches the T junction, the electric field lines become distorted and bend. The electric field lines become distorted and bend okay by seeing these uh, waves lines itself we can understand that point they split so that the positive end of the line remains with the top side of the positive end of see here if by seeing this we can say suppose if you are taking downward direction the electric field lines these downward electric field lines after going and crosses this junction these are electric field lines converted into upward lines. Suppose if you are taking a upward electric field lines after crossing this junction, they will be slowly converted into downward field lines. 
okay so depending upon the input electric field lines the output power electric field lines are out of phase okay whether it is a upward direction or downward direction that is immaterial but it gives 180 degrees out of phase with the with respect to the input <clears throat> so these phase relations these phase relationships are preserved if signals enter from either of the other ports either of the other ports see here suppose if port 1 and 2 are applied with the same phase either port 1 and port 2 are applied with the same phase the output from port 3 is 0 because they will be cancelled because they are out of phase but if if we are giving port 1 with positive phase and port 2 with negative phase then they will be added up and they, the signal phase relation can be preserved at port 3 hope you understand the point what i have written at last if port 1 and 2 are given with the same phase when it reaches when these two signals reaches the junction they will be cancelled out because same phase means positive here positive here when comes to this junction they will be cancelled if you are giving a different phases then they will be added up and coming out from this port 3 so in that way the phase relationship can be preserved using this e plane t junction this is the construction and working of this e plane T junction. In the next video, I will explain the scattering matrix of E plane T junction.